what's going on folks, it's Mike here, and I'm very excited to be presenting you a new series on my first impressions with programming languages. Now what you're going to be seeing in this series is something that I'm following up on a little bit of a New Year's resolution that I had a few years back now. And that was the idea that I should learn some new programming languages and learn them well. Well, I started doing that with my C++ and D and C programming language series. But of course, I've always been somebody who's dabbled in various programming languages over time, whether those have been basic programming languages, new programming languages, experimental programming languages, even languages that no one really uses, or even making my own language. So with that said, though, I wanted to do a little bit of a deeper dive here, looking at some of the mainstream languages that many programmers like you might also be using. Now, this series isn't about learning in depth each of the different programming languages, but just kind of looking at them for an hour as a newcomer and seeing what the tour of that programming language looks like. So anyways, I hope you'll enjoy this series in which we look at various programming languages and go ahead and see what some of their strengths and features are. And in some ways, it's a little bit of a test just to see how easy it is to get up and running with a programming language with someone like me with a little bit of experience, but not everything. It's a good way also to look at this series as a way to just push yourself. And while you might have mastery or what you consider mastery in some programming languages, to go ahead and humble yourself and be a newcomer in other languages. So you'll see me stumble, you'll see me trip and fall and mess up in the programming languages, but discover new features and compare and contrast them with different programming languages. Now what this series is not about, however, is comparing which language is the best. Because, well, that's sort of an endless debate, as they say. You should never bring up politics, religion, and programming languages, especially at a computer scientist's house. <laughs> Anyways, with that said, I hope you'll enjoy the merits of this series here, getting to see different programming languages. And if you have some expertise, go ahead and comment below and engage the community and let them know where they should look next. What would the second hour in a programming language look like? So anyways, we've got lots of fun, different little lessons here in which you'll get to explore various programming languages for about an hour time from setup to start to just what I find on the homepage and what's interesting. Nonetheless, it's a good way to push yourself and challenge yourself a little bit as you try to learn something new, which is always good. Now, I've heard this before and I think it's true, but you can't really master a programming language that you use until you look at another programming language. I've heard that by several folks who are much wiser than me, and I think that's true. I found it in my own experience that learning other programming languages or other idioms or patterns or different mechanisms in those programming languages has helped strengthen me in the programming languages that I use day to day. So anyways, folks, with that said, thanks for your time and attention. I hope you'll enjoy these series as I sort of fumble around in different programming languages. And I encourage you, or my hope is that this inspires you to do the same. Anyways, folks, with that said, thanks for your time and attention, and I look forward to these releases coming very, very soon in the first Impressions Programming Language Series.